Hello, everybody. This is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this video, we're going to learn how to configure Fox IT Reader using Group Policy and Policy Pack. So let's start off with uh, taking a look at Fox IT Reader. And uh, I'm just logged on as a standard user. I'm not an administrator. I'm just a standard user. And uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Fox IT Reader. Uh, but if you go to Tools Preferences, there's a lot of things that a regular user, uh, someone without admin rights, can do to unfortunately make your machine less secure. And if you're going to be deploying Fox IT Reader to all of your client machines, you're going to want to make sure that the application itself is locked down and secure. So let's let's actually go from the bottom up. Let's talk about updater. You know, for a lot of organizations have their own schedule for setting updates. Uh, you probably don't want the default to update automatically uh, every seven days. Automatically check for security updates and update ads bar and start page. What you probably want to do is to not update automatically. So we're not going to click it here. We're going to use group policy to do it. I just want to show you that this is the default. Let's go over to the, uh, let's see, trust manager. Here we go. See, there's this thing called safe reading mode, which is uh, uh, very important to make sure that documents can't do bad things and will help you avoid attacks from malicious documents. So if, uh, if a user wants to, they can uncheck that checkbox. That's not good. We don't want to do that. But uh, if they do that and click OK, there's absolutely nothing preventing them from doing that. So, whoops, let's go to another uh, setting here. Let's go to JavaScript. Yet another one. Um, you probably want them to have this guy unchecked. You want to uncheck enable JavaScript actions. Uh, the idea is that, again, the bad guys can use JavaScript as an attack uh, vector against Fox IT Reader. So what we're going to do is, uh, gosh, we've got three things we want to do. We want to check some things and uncheck some things and also lock it down so users can't work around your settings. So let's go ahead and close Fox IT Reader here. And now we'll go over to our group policy uh, station, the one that creates group policy for us. You can see we've got the uh, pre-configured policy packs here on the right. And uh, on the left here, I've got the um, a folder that we're going to copy our extensions to. So let me say that again. On the right here, we've got our pre-configured policy packs. We're going to pick the Fox IT Reader. You can see we've got others as well for Acrobat. Um, we've got others for things like Flash and Firefox and Link and Java, and a lot of other great applications that you want to manage using group policy. But today we're going to use Fox IT Reader. We're going to take our pre-configured DLL and copy it right here into the Policy Pack Extensions folder on our machine, the one that we're going to create group policy from. And that's it. You're done. You're ready to go, and you're ready to manage group policy. So uh, manage, fire, uh, manage uh, Fox IT Reader using group policy. So we're going to create a new GPO against our East Sales users. We'll go ahead and manage Fox IT Reader using group policy and Firefox. Okay, we'll right click, click edit. And now we will dive down under user side, policy pack applications, new app, and there it is, policy pack for Fox IT Reader. And we'll double click that and here we go. So the first thing we wanna do, we, we uh, started off with updater. Let's go ahead and force it to do not automatically update. And we also want to, um, go the extra mile here because this is a thing that a user can configure on their own we can prevent that behavior by right clicking over and disabling the corresponding control in the target application we're going to lock it down so a user can't possibly mess it up you can see the check mark is checked for disable the corresponding control in the target application if we go over to the trust manager we want to guarantee that enable safe reading mode is turned on so we're going to check it and um, an underline in policy pack means we're going to deliver the setting. But again, it's probably not uh, enough to just check the checkbox. Again, we're going to right click and disable the corresponding control in the target application. Make sure the user can't possibly work around it. Let's go over to JavaScript. We want to uncheck this checkbox to enable JavaScript actions. We want to reduce the amount of stuff the bad guys can do. And while we're here again, we can disable the corresponding control in the target application. So now that we've made those three settings changes, let's go back over to our client machine here. Now I could, if I want to log off and log back on, I could get a totally new workstation. If I'm using a terminal server or VDI session, the very next time I log on, I'm going to get this setting because again, policy pack is part of the operating system. We act as part of the operating system. And as soon as you log on, you get the latest, greatest group policy settings. I just happen to be accelerating things a little bit by using 
GP update, but I could have just as easily logged off and logged back on. So let's go ahead and now let's uh, run Fox IT Reader here, and let's go to uh, Tools, Preferences here, and we'll go from the bottom up. There's Updater, cool. We've set it to Do Not Automatically Update, and as you can see, it's grayed out so the user can't possibly mess around and uh, thwart your setting. Uh, we can also see Trust Manager. They can uh, not prevent Unchecking enable safe reading mode. You saw me as a regular user uncheck that and click OK. And now I have guaranteed it on as the IT administrator using Group Policy and Policy Pack. And then if we go over to JavaScript, here we go. We've unchecked enable JavaScript actions. And all the settings here are available for you to use in Fox IT Reader. So if there's something special that I didn't cover that you want to have uh, done using uh, uh, Policy Pack and uh, Fox IT, you have a pre-configured pack ready to go. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed how to uh, use Policy Pack with the pre-configured Fox IT Reader Pack to lock your machines down and change things like the updater, trust manager, and the uh, JavaScript control. Thanks very much. Remember, with Policy Pack, what you set is what they get. Thanks so much. Take care.